Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have another LEGO Avengers video for you. This one happens to be very special. This one's going to be for preparing for free play. And it's pretty simple. All you really need to have completed so far is that the story mode is in your rearview mirror, that you've completed that, and we can uh, go ahead and uh, move forward on a free play. You're also going to need 640,000 studs, so hopefully you haven't been spending those precious studs as you collect them along the way. But uh, if you've got 640K and you've completed the story then we are ready to keep on keeping on so as you can see here this seems to be the standard spawning point when turning on the game or returning back or loading anything or anything like that so we're actually in manhattan or more specifically in central park so what we're going to do is we're going to fly up over this pond here this nice little uh tourist attraction here and we're going to find ourselves up in this northeastern corner up in reptopia and in this far right corner under this little gazebo here, I guess this is just actually just a little area, covered area, uh, we'll find Miss Marvel. And she actually has one of our first quests that we will be completing. Now we thought about completing all of this area and just knocking out part of Free Room, but we didn't want to confuse too many people or you know, have any expectations off because we want to complete the free play first and then come back and do the free roam. Now, Miss Marvel here, she simply has a really simple task. She lets us know that there are some crocodiles attacking her and we just need to help her get through this. So turns out there's 15 total crocs and uh, that's a croc. I tell you what, we were Iron Man and we just went ahead and used our rockets and it did the job rather efficiently and it only took us a few seconds. Once we get done with this, uh, this is actually going to unlock a needed character token. I'm sure you're wondering why we were just wandering off here. I didn't really mention that. But what we need is a digger. We need a character with a digging ability. And Reptile is easily found right here by completing this mission and only costs us 40,000 studs. So uh, thank you to Dougie for finding that information for us and pointing us in the right direction to get us going towards that infamous free play. That's right. All right, so uh, we have officially unlocked the reptile character token, and you can see right there the old lock got knocked off. We knocked that lock off. And uh, all right, so we're in Iron Man. We went ahead and selected the character grid wheel, but because we are Iron Man, there are multiple versions of Iron Man, and you kind of go inside the mask there, but we selected the character grid wheel. Now we've has selected reptile's blank spot there and spent the 40K. Now we're going to move down here too and buy Ultimate Ultron. He's a little bit more expensive and you will get him for completing part of the story. I don't remember exactly which mission it is. It's either 14 or 15. Uh, it's either old, I think it's Ultron Undone, the final one that you actually unlock the character token. But uh, once we've got both of those purchased, really the only other thing that we can do right now is purchase the Attract Studs Red Brick. This is something that's actually available to you as soon as you start the game. And if you've made it up to the Helicarrier and wandered around and maybe made it into where you used to buy red bricks, well, turns out you actually buy red bricks there too in this game. So uh, they didn't change it around too much on us. But instead of Deadpool's room this time, uh, we have a little portal that we go through and it takes us into the Collector's room. So a little bit more appropriate, especially since we are collecting red bricks huh so we took the long way up here we just flew up all you have to do is just fly up into the sky and uh, we're gonna go use the elevator so a little ironic that we flew way up here just to use an elevator to go right back down but but if you listen carefully <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, so beyond the elevator music, we've made it in. We're in the headquarters here. We're in the main main spot here, and we're going to head up over the stairway up to the left-hand side through this open doorway. If you remember in the first game, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, there was kind of a problematic door there that sometimes opened for people and sometimes took a long time. And uh, glad they do not have that in this one, but uh, we're going to head down the hallway and take the first door on the right, and you can see here it's relabeled this room as Shield Helicarrier again, as if we didn't know we were inside, but we're going to sneak into this weird glowy thing. It reminds me of one of those electricity balls that we used to see when we were kids. They probably still have them, but... All right, there's three little spots you can run into here. The far right one is accessing your comics or your mini kits that you've collected. Far left one is the cheat codes, and the middle one is our red brick. So we're going to step right up, and as you can see right off the bat here, it's 100K. So we've spent uh, 640,000 studs in about three minutes. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully you've been saving up your studs. And now that we have the attract studs red brick, that'll certainly help collecting all of those a lot easier in-game, especially when you get those rapid multipliers for taking out the bad guys. And all those studs go bouncing around, like it'll make it that much easier to collect them all. 
But as you can see here, we actually made it all the way through the story with only collecting one mini kit right there on Avengers Assemble level six, I think it was. And that actually forced us to get it. Otherwise, we would have missed that one as well. But now we're going to go ahead and attack those levels one by one and uh, grab all 150 of those mini kits. So we do take one quick peek over here at the cheat code screen. I'm not sure we have any codes available, and we don't really recommend you use them. 99% of the time, it doesn't affect your gameplay, but every once in a while, like, you open a character or unlock something like that, and it doesn't recognize it on the percentage, and, uh, yeah, it might prevent you from getting 100% total. So, hey, make sure you turn on your red brick. You can see we almost forgot there, but as soon as we do, those studs start attracting, just as promised, and oh, to the, yeah, we're actually all ready to go now. We have all the needed characters because we have completed the story as well as picked up Reptile for completing that one free roam mission there. And, uh, yeah, we got the attract studs, red brick turned on and purchased, and we're ready to go. So uh, look for the uh, free play level one video coming soon. Oh, to the end. Hey, if you guys have any questions or requests, of course, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. And, of course, we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited. 150 mini kits. What do we? I don't remember exactly how many character tokens are through uh, just the free play. I know there's like 200 and something total, and I bet you we get, well, three per level. So that's 45. I can do math. That's 45 character tokens. So we got a lot of those, and uh, one red brick per level, starting with the 2x red brick that is actually inside of level one. I didn't really mention that. So you guys are probably wondering, well, you get to do it? Because we're going to get it in the first level. So as for me, that's going to do it. Come on, bring it free play. As always, until next time. See ya. Plop.